In this video, we're going to be talking about how to know if your ex has moved on or not. But first, my name is Clay with ModernLove.Life, where we help you get the great loving relationship that you're looking for without having to play mind games, without having to play hard to get, and without having to pretend to be someone or something that you are not, because you deserve to be loved for the unique, amazing, and wonderful person that you are. And if you agree with me, do me a favor by giving this video a thumbs up and by subscribing to the channel while you are down there hitting that thumbs up button. It does help us out, and it also makes sure that you get notifications whenever we post any new videos. Anyway, I also wanted to let you know that we do have an email newsletter on um, tips, advice, and strategies to help you get back together with the person that you love. When you sign up, you also get a nice free report as well too that uh, walks you through some commonly held beliefs and myths that people have about this the whole process of saving a relationship and we pull them apart and tell you instead what has actually worked for our clients in the past. Anyway, you can find more information about that newsletter and that report right down below this video in the description box. Let's go ahead and get into this video, which is again, how to know if your ex has moved on or not. So I know that for a lot of people out there, it it's it's a concerning thing, you know, is there hope in my situation? Am I just wasting my time? What's going on with my ex? Um, you know, you want to know kind of where your ex is at so that you know whether or not you should, you know, continue to try to make the relationship work or if maybe it honestly is a waste of time. Um, and, you know, there, there are definitely times when I would encourage people to probably not try to get back together with their ex. For example, if your ex is like getting married to someone in the very near future, um, chances are very low that you're going to be able to intercede and um, stop that wedding from taking place and get back together. Like I, I had somebody who actually wrote into me once and they're like, yeah, Clay, uh, your advice doesn't work. Um, I reached out to my ex the day after she got married and she didn't want to talk to me. And I'm like, yeah, you know, like, probably the day after she gets married is probably the 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 the, the greatest height, the peak um, of the time that her and her new husband are going to be most happily satisfied with one another. Of course, marriages have their ups and downs, but you know, right after you get married to someone, you're pretty strongly committed to that person. And it's unlikely you're going to be, you know, chatting up your ex and wanting to annul your marriage or something so you can get back together with them. So, you know, kind of think about this stuff. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into some ways that you can know if uh, maybe your ex has moved on. So the, the first way is that they're building a new life with someone else or just on their own that is not really just a reaction to you and your relationship. Now, again, it's totally different if it's like a rebound relationship and there's all these other rebound relationship stuff like psychological displacement, um, dating someone who is maybe very similar to you or like the exact polar opposite of you or something like that. Uh, we have an entire video playlist on rebound relationships if you want to learn more about that, how they work, why they work that way, why they often fail. Um, you can find that video playlist on rebound relationships up there. But basically, if your ex is in a rebound relationship, that just shows they're not over you, they have not moved on. Um, but if they actually are in a relationship that seems kind of intentional, that seems kind of like, yeah, this is what I'm choosing for myself, this is what I'm choosing for my life, you know, even if they're not in a relationship with someone else, if they're choosing something intentionally for their life that's not just like, you know, the rubber band snapping the opposite direction or uh, something like that, then, then that could definitely be a sign that they are starting to move on and starting to take their life in another direction, okay? So you want to be on the lookout for that. Um, it doesn't mean that you can't get back together with your ex if they're kind of moving on. It just means that um, you, you're not going to be interacting with them in a place where they're like highly emotionally involved in the whole breakup process and in, you know, thinking about you both in a, in a negative way or in a positive way. And that's just going to create a different kind of dynamic when the two of you are reconnecting. That's all. Um, the second way that you can tell if your ex has moved on is if they are investing less and less in either directly or indirectly interacting with you. And what do I mean by this? So so if your ex is investing less and less um, directly, I mean, this is obviously like, okay, they're, they're calling me less, they're talking to me less, they're trying to, you know, get some sort of emotional response from me less and less, you know, whether that is a positive thing, like, hey, I, I saw this thing, I wanted to talk to you about it, or a negative way where they're like maybe trying to make you jealous or something like that. I mean, these are obvious ways that 
people are still hung up on their ex. And if they're doing that less and less, it shows that they're starting to move on. Now, when it comes to indirectly trying to um, get a response out of you or uh, indirectly being less and less invested emotionally in you, that can take a lot of different forms. For example, you know, posting certain things on social media um, that maybe try to curate their life to make it look like it's perfect when, you know, you know that like, hey, you know, we broke up a couple weeks ago. I know that you're probably pretty devastated. You know, there's, there's certain ways that people try to put out a certain image, but it really is just investing more and more into the relationship, right? So it's like, okay, I'm going to put out this image that my life is perfect and wonderful um, because I'm trying to convince myself and because I'm trying to convince everyone else that uh, I'm over this relationship. That's very, very different from actually being over the relationship. It's very, very different. And you want to be careful about that because you have to kind of follow where your ex's emotional state at. I mean, like if you if you get nothing else from the hundreds of videos, I don't know, maybe even a thousand videos that I've posted at this point. I'm not even sure how many videos I've posted. But if you've gotten nothing else from all these other videos, um, it should be to follow the emotional connection between you and your ex. And if that emotional connection is telling you one thing and they're doing something else, it's probably just a smoke screen. Okay, um, so pay attention to that. And basically. If the emotional connection is telling you that they're getting less and less interested in you or getting a response from you or a reaction from you or something like that, then that is a sign that they're moving on. If, on the other hand, the emotional connection is telling you something else, then that just shows that they actually are still kind of wrapped up in you, in the breakup, in the relationship, all that sort of stuff. And uh, the third way that you can tell if your ex has moved on is if they are no longer affected by you emotionally that is to say if um if they hear about you if you know maybe you bump into a mutual friend and they that friend says oh hey you know i ran into your ex at this place or something and they're no longer emotionally affected by that um or if uh you know you interact with them and they no longer are responding from a very strong intense emotional place um or anything like that then that can show that they're starting to move on emotionally and this of course also includes that posturing element that we talked about where people try to make it seem as if they don't care where they try to put on this sort of facade that shows that they are moved on or that they don't care it can very often be an act um, it's not necessarily a genuine expression of how they feel we want to pay attention to how they feel not necessarily the outer shell veneer of um, what they're putting out to the world. We want to be looking at how they feel. And as long as that is telling the story that they are still emotionally invested in you or the breakup or the relationship that they had with you, then they have not moved on. If, on the other hand, they genuinely seem to be unaffected by the two, by, by you know, you or by the two of you running into one another or interacting with one another or any news or update about you or something like that, then they probably have moved on. And um, the important distinction here, I touched on this a little bit earlier, but I want to make it clear, is that if your ex has moved on, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's hopeless. Now, again, granted, if they got married yesterday, I'm going to say... I probably wouldn't put a whole lot of energy into that. But if they have moved on emotionally, the two of you absolutely can still connect again and work things out and give your relationship another shot. It just means that they're not emotionally tangled up in the whole breakup, in the drama of the breakup, and who said what and who did what and all that stuff. And I know that people don't want their ex to be kind of over that emotional issues and all that stuff for a lot of reasons, but it's actually okay for that to happen because it allows the two of you to connect in a much more um, genuine, authentic place where it's not the two of you kind of crashing in and out of damage control mode with one another. So it's not necessarily a bad thing if your ex has moved on. In fact, it actually can be a good thing that creates a stronger emotional connection for the two of you in the long run. So like, don't, don't worry if it's starting to seem like your ex has moved on. Um, I mean, unless you know, yesterday was their wedding day or something like that, then obviously that is kind of a, a big thing. Um, and it's like, okay, yeah, their affection for their new spouse is probably like super high. And there's probably very little that you can do to kind of come in there and say, hey, you should stop being in love with your new partner and be in love with me instead. So uh, just keep that in mind. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, if you did want to find more about that newsletter, the report, all that stuff, information for that is down in the description box below. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you like what we 
are doing here, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You may also wanna check out that playlist on rebound relationships. You can find that over here, or you might also want to check out this video right here. But once again, my name is Clay. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope that you're having a great day.